There's the old pump right there. Horse and a half. It's got a dead short in it. First thing you want to do is take off the back cover. Now we're going to cut the pipes off so we can take the old pump away. And there you go, old pump, disconnected, unwired, cut out, ready for the pump. Now, water recycling bin, we're going to bring all the water out of it, bring it to the junk dealer, it'll give you money for the copper. So here's what we got, we got an inch and a half pipe sticking up going into the zone valve, we have an inch and a half intake line right there going over to the lake in the back. Right there. That pump pipe goes from the lake to that pipe right There's there. There's the new pump. A one and a half horsepower Goulds irrigator getting ready to be installed. Make sure you wrap the Teflon tape at least two or three times around clockwise. And take your pliers and tighten it nice and tight. And that's a nipple. We're putting an inch and a half PVC nipple into the intake. And then we're going to tighten the inch and a half male adapter on the top now. Now what you want to do now is you want to wire this motor up now before you do the pump, before you do the PVC gluing, the three wires back on, the 110 to one leg, and it doesn't matter which leg it goes. Put your electrical fitting back on so that you got off the old one.
Now feed your three wires back in. Your two hots and your one ground. Put the wire on the one one side of the of the uh, terminal, the 110 on one side of the terminal, and then the other 110 on the other side of the terminal. See under that. The wiring is now installed, and now we're going to test it to make sure that it runs. So turn on the turn breaker. On Yep, sounds good. There's our wired motor, ready to be plumbed. A wired pump, ready to be plumbed in. Now we're gonna to proceed to, to plumb it up. Get it glued together, it's all wired up, ready to go. Clean off the burrs, the plastic pieces will get stuck inside your system. Just wipe them out with your fingers, it's good enough. Be sure to use primer on all your pipe. Purple primer cleans off all the dirt and makes the glue stick better. Try not to splash it on the side of the house. Don't splash it on the house and don't drip it on the ground on the side on the driveway. Intake is glued together. Now we're going to pop in the top part, the discharge. That's it. Hold it for a few minutes. Make sure it doesn't pop out. Push down. You're in. And that's how you pump, that's how you plumb a pump. Now we're going to prime the pump with our special hand pump called, it's a, gu it's a guzzler. It sucks the water up out of the lake, right through the pump. And all you have to do is fill the pump up with water, turn it on, and you got prime. Do not run the pump dry. Close the ball valve right there, the red handle. Open up the faucet on top. Hook up the, the hand pump and start pumping. In a few seconds, you're going to see water coming out of that. You're pulling water right through the pump. There it is. There it is. Switch. We have prime. New pump installed. Water pumping. That's a real good idea to run it under pressure for a while because the fittings that you just glued glued together with all that gray glue is liable to blow up. You put pressure on it. Exactly. You want to wait at least 15, 20 minutes, maybe an hour, before you put full pressure on it. 
It's liable to blow off. 